Good morning. It is Wednesday the 26th of August and I decided this morning to skip on a couple of Psalms and to skip on to Psalm 57. Uh, let's read this one together. So Psalm 57. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy. I look to you for protection. I will hide beneath the shadow of your wings until the danger passes by. I cry out to God most high, to God who will fulfill his purposes for me. He will send help from heaven and to rescue me, disgracing those who hound me. May God send forth his unfailing love and faithfulness. I am surrounded by fierce lions who greedily devour human prey, whose teeth pierce like spears and arrows, and whose tongues cut like swords. Be exalted, O God, above the highest heavens. May your glory shine over all the earth. My enemies have set a trap for me. I am weary from distress. They have dug a deep pit in my path, but they themselves have fallen into it. My heart is confident in you, O God. My heart is confident. No wonder I can sing your praises. Wake up, my heart. Wake up, O lar and harp. I will wake the dawn with my song. I will thank you, Lord, among all the people. I will sing your praises among the nations. For your unfailing love is as high as the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the highest heaven. May your glory shine over all the earth. Amen. This psalm, again, is it's, um, accredited to David uh, from a time whenever he had to run away from Saul and hide. Uh, and you see in it him crying out to God for mercy. He recognises that God is the one who is powerful. God is the one who can cause things to, to happen or not happen. Um, but in it, he also recognises that those who are after him, it's not God that's after him, but it's, it's other people. And he describes them like animals. He talks about fierce lions um, who have teeth like spears and arrows and tongues that cut like swords. So he recognises that people can be nasty and horrible and that people can do terrible things to us. But in the midst of all that, he says, my enemies have set a trap for me. They've dug a deep pit and they've fallen into it themselves. People always get tripped up by their actions. Um, and if they're doing things that they shouldn't do, it, it does come back on them again. And there's a recognition of that. But the whole way throughout this psalm, David doesn't blame God at any stage, but he does look to God to help him and protect him. Quite often we think of help and protection in physical terms, and you could think about that from that psalm. But as you read through the rest of the Bible, you realise that in physical terms, things happen that we have no control about, and things do happen at times. You only have to, to look at the story of Paul and his life to realise the things that he went through uh, and how he said at times that he had plenty and he had nothing. He was in chains, he was beaten, he was whipped. But yet in all of that, he said that he was rich because he had God with him. And it didn't matter what people did to him physically. He was protected spiritually. Um, and he knew that God was looking after him and looking after his soul. What an amazing thing to realise. You know, when I, the more you read the Bible, the more you realise that life is eternal. Um, but life on earth is, is short and fleeting. Uh, it's described like being a flower, so it's described like being only a moment. Um, it's described as being something that grows and withers. You know, there's, there's different phrases which show us that life on earth is, is so fleeting and temporary. But what is eternal is our soul. And David here recognises that God is looking after him. And it doesn't matter in physical terms what happens. God has got him. And he says at the very end, Be exalted, O God, above the highest heavens. May your glory shine over all the earth. Imagine, he's, he's on the run. Saul is trying to kill him. And he says, Be exalted, O God. May your glory shine over all the earth. He shows that happiness is not about physical being and physical possessions but happiness is about 
the richness of your relationship with God. Oh, to have that rich relationship that in every situation we can say, be exalted, O God, and may your glory shine over all the earth. Maybe today we will think about that. Maybe today we will think about what it means for us in our own circumstances to be able to do that and to have that richness of a relationship with God. Let's pray. Father, again today, thank you for your goodness, for your provision. Thank you for just being who you are. Lord, help us in every situation that we face to be able to say, God, you are great and wonderful and may you be exalted. Lord, may we seek a closer relationship with you. May we seek to be walking with you in harmony with you. Lord, may we seek to walk the path that you want us to. Help us, Lord, just each day to grow that bit closer to you, that our love for you would grow that our trust and faith in you again would grow day by day so that we know that no matter the situation, you have got us. Lord, thank you. Help us this day, guide us and protect us, we pray. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks, folks. See you again tomorrow. God bless.